because this is unfinished welcome because this is the only place so we get to finish and finish matches i am your host sk gitonga thank you for joining this week we're talking about social media and specifically tiktok of late we've been having obscene lives and people think that tiktok should actually be brought down which brings us to our first question do you think tiktok should be banned or should it just be regulated let me know what you think in the comment section hashtag unfinished i think uh if we regulate like uh, they shouldn't ban it to most of the people who are they, they use it and uh, the best option is to regulate or ban yeah now if we regulate it cause uh number one, uh it's a source of income kwa youths wengi then it's a source of entertainment unaona so like how fake baniwa and it depends na watu wanatumia that those people use it wisely na kuna wengine wanaharibu but uh, i can say i fake kwa banned i think na fake kwa regulated ju most people through tiktok ndo wanapatanga kama job si ati kwa banned completely ju ki ban inajua it will limit others just maybe few individuals ndo wanafanya na misuse um i definitely don't think it should be banned because i think tiktok is a really great marketing tool there are so many businesses that make a lot of profit through tiktok um plus entertainment and exposure we like to keep in touch with the rest of the world i feel co regulated in that uh ni social media platform na ni platform yenye manzi following yake ina grow overnight bana unaamka asubuhi unapata waseni wengi wanazidi kujoin tiktok na kufanya story kaa hizo so unapata manzi ile content iko hapo uwezi uwezi blame watu at the end of the day iji kila kitu iko na positive na negative side of it uh, i fail to ban but kuna hiyo aspect ya regulation it should be regulated ju sasa tuki tuseme as a country Kenya ime ban TikTok so wale wenye wana make something out of it watapataje do na sasa hii economy yetu tunaishi sasa hii ni ile kila mtu ajitegemee so if TikTok hiyo ndo design yenye mtu anajitegemea so itakuwa je ti sasa ikuwe banned na sasa watu watajitegemea aje ama wataanza aje mimi naona ifai kubaniwa na bado ifai kuregulatiwa ju obviously chenye kauna tafta kauna tafta hizo vitu za watu wanasema ziko obviously utazipata hata kwa hizi sites zingine za internet so mbona ibaniwe na mbona iregulatiwe plus mimi naona kayo ni kayo nasaidia wananchi si wacha tu na i personally i don't think it's a good idea for tiktok to be banned uh, reason being tiktok has really given so many youths employment like the government imemaliza mwaka nini imefanya concerning the youth personally i have a cousin mwenye analipa nyumba uko ngara through tiktok tiktok has really engaged so many people like ime minimize that usage of drugs cuz so many people yo pesa ya kutumia kwa drugs ana invest kununua data so personally i don't think it's a good thing for tiktok to be banned actually it's really an advantage for so many youths out there wenye I want an employment. Do employment Kenya kupata ni connection of which so many are wanna connection. Hata when you're connected now they're not looking after you. So having the TikTok platform it's a good thing and big up to the owner cuz it may create employment. TikTok should be regulated and rules should be there to guide the users. Uh reason being that um, TikTok came in with a bang and the society took it but they have not considered the disadvantages um or the undoing into the society um as a psychologist i believe morals are what guide uh families being the fiber that form um the social cycle of the of the world when families are interfered with by morals especially if they are negative morals then you are going to have a lot of problems in the world tiktok having come come in with a bang um and unregulated people especially the young ones are able to use it for their own 
uh, bad intentions. So to me, I am seeing a new phenomena in terms of uh, just communicating issues, uh, getting ownership of issues, and also calling out irresponsibility, especially on the part of uh, on, on the part of uh, government and uh, people in the society that uh, are not doing what is uh, right. So to me, it is um, it is a medium, uh, a new platform of engagement and a new platform for communication. So I have no problem with it. Vile what wana sema asai, they should not try to touch to TikTok because we don't ban. For example, what wana sema parliament na fight against the ban TikTok. That is wrong. Governments, ama institutions, do not ban products that are not made by them. What you do, you make policies to control them. You make you make policies that are progressive, not subversive. So they should not ban, they should not even think about banning because see our metangeneza in the kitu mekuja it is technology. You cannot block technology from coming. It is like saying we block the internet from using to me assist to jifungie. That is wrong. I think it should be regulated. One cause a ban you at same lose source of money. Kind of my sister yende am saidia mostly kuli parent nini hata mimi mwenyewe nakwanga tiktok though not verified but yeah tiktok pen is source of entertainment so sema wakitoa na should not Personally, I feel like TikTok should be regulated because as much as we have people who are actually using it for bad means, we have people who are using it in a very creative way. They're using it to encourage people who are down and some of them are actually using it to earn a living. So it's going to be very unfair if we decide to only look at the bad side of it. Which takes us to our next question. Do you think TikTok promotes violence? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Yes, I agree with that. They promote vulgar language, hate speech and violence to some point, but to some other people, they, it's assistive, it's helpful to some people, advertisements and stuff, yeah. Not really. Like, in a depend on what kuna Maybe come on kuna beef, that's when in a create violence, but I don't think come in a create violence. No. Uh, TikTok, uh, I see it provides a platform where they can express their freedom of speech, but I, I don't think it promotes. Um, I think TikTok is like any other platform on the internet, and um, meaning they have the capacity to do every single thing. People on this earth are different, so people can decide to do the craziest things on the internet and on TikTok. So I don't doubt that it can't promote violence and hate speech. Um, I feel like people should just get values and, and make the TikTok feeds less scary. <laughs> I don't agree to that because we also have a parliament. What do they promote at times? No, TikTok is only a platform, <laughs> just like any other platform where people can give their views. There is what we call freedom of speech, so give people their freedom. TikTok, uh, I promote uh, violence and hate speech, but now the users do. Unapata mtu anatumia TikTok kwa agenda zake tofauti tofauti, kueleza, kueneza vitu zao tu. So, mimi sidani kama inaeza nini hivo, but now the platform itself, ikiwa regulated mzuri, hizi stories za hate speech ama nini aziezi kuwa zina arise. Violence is a behavior. Violence is as a result of a, a coping aggressiveness. We are struggling with an age of gadgets or an age of social media. If it is not controlled, then violence is being copied. When children copy violence, or when they watch, they are so much engrossed in social media. As you try to control, later on, they will fight. They will fight back. Fighting back is like a coping mechanism. Everyone has what we call defense mechanism. 
And one of the defense mechanism is to show violence so that you can be feared. Violence can be in form of revenge, in form of wanting to show the perpetrators that you can also equal their might. And therefore, I believe TikTok is promoting violence. I don't think so, because uh, looking from my experience, I have seen it as a platform for, for educating, educating uh, people on, uh, on issues. And uh, if somebody has really misbehaved and you're called out, then that's not hate speech. I haven't seen an innocent person uh, being flagged in, um, in, in TikTok, uh, you know, uh, in what I understand is a hate speech. I haven't seen. Anybody I have, been, I have watched uh, being called out has uh, a questionable character. I agree. And uh, any, any technology or product will have those bad and good elements. What you need to do is to deal with the bad ones and promote the good ones. Just that. Promote totally. TikTok, someone encourage you. Unezona kitu TikTok, we menye ukwe, ime kubamba, unezwa kuja kufanya. So, violence, hakuna violence kwa entertainment. Hakuna violence tena kwa kitu inakusaidia kujua kenye nendelea kwa inti yako. I feel like this is not a TikTok issue. It's more about a personal, a personal kind of initiative because you, whatever you consume on TikTok is what is mostly found on your FYP page, mostly known as For You page. So if you consume vulgar content, you take part in violence, it's definitely going to appear on your timeline. I also feel like it's also about us being able to support good content and being against such vulgar content. Let's take a short break, we'll be back with two more questions. Welcome back guys, this is Unfinished Kamakawaida, the only place where we get to finish Unfinished Matters. I am your host, SK Gitonga, thank you for joining. Today, we're talking about social media, specifically about TikTok, which takes us to our next question. Do you think TikTok poses a threat to the mental health of the youth? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Yes and no. I meant me threat in that, like, kuna say like, our tu wenye wanakonga, like, ukingia TikTok, maybe some people start attacking you, wanako attack. So, kama when you weak in your brain, like, unakoa, unakoa, una feel offended and stuff. But like they don't care, like who kitaka kama ni matusi, who kitaka matusi, you don't care and stuff. So yeah, it's sort of the 50-50, depends on the person, yeah. Not really, Sidani, because coming to a threat, then at first I'm going to let you up, no, no. So I don't think I'm going to threat, yeah. I'd say it depends with the way you, you use it. Some people say it to me as entertainment, others say it to me as a job, others maybe, yeah, mm, I mean, it depends on how it to me, but I don't think, uh, maybe to some people, those who are uh, maybe misusing it. Yeah, um, one of the biggest advice people used to give each other during COVID was, you know, if you're going to take care of your mental health, regulate your mental health, then regulate your feed. So I think, like I said, it has the capacity to, um, but I think um, those are things that maybe young people should start being more aware of so that they reg actually regulate their feeds. Because obviously if you tune into some kind of feeds, eh, it's gonna mess with your mental health for sure, for sure. Some mental health in records at risk, the only platform in you know, an entertainment platform. In fact, that's the best platform for someone suffering from mental health. Exactly. When you want to meet TikTok, their mental health is at risk. But uh, at the same uh, your peers, mtu ame make it out of TikTok, kama ame fanya kitingine bigi, but ni ile mlianzaga na e, mlikuaga na e, ivi. But sasa unapata huu mse, Ame hit tu ama alifanya kitu ingine tu, alifanya kitu ingine na ame, ame, ame enda juu. 
ama amepata kitu mzuri tu but nyinyi mlikuwa na ye na kuna venye amewato amewatoka so utapata like hiyo kitu itakuwa na kukula juu itakuwa like tulianzaga na ye mbona ye yako hivi na mbona mimi siko hivi another thing utapata like unaonaga kwa hizi tiktok unaona like mtu mtu umejua see not everybody kwa tiktok anaekanga anaekanga the real anajiekanga real utapata mtu ame, ame amejiweka design nyingine hadi uwezi jua so utapata like ukiangalia yu pia uangalie beshte yako kwa TikTok venye yako na vitu zenye anafanya na wewe venye ulikuwa ama vitu zenye yako nazo ana expose kwa TikTok hii kitu itakuwa na kukula jita kukula in aspect that uta, utakuna una, una, una nini una compete no msel like huyu jamaa tulianzaga na yeye mbona yeye amefika hapa mbona mimi siko hivi mbona sijafika hapa mbona mimi sina hizi likes mingi mbona sijafika hizi views mingi so hizi vitu zina pile up kwa kile zina kukulanga tu pole pole hadi utafikanga point nyingine uta bust uko zile za imeenda and on the other hand mimi nafikiria kwanza TikTok ina inasaidia my youths to hiyo ni kitu ya kwa keep busy so like mi kwa maoni yangu TikTok ni afadhali kuliko vitu zingine ziko huko nje ju youth heri heri yako kwa simu yake akitumia TikTok kuliko vitu zingine ziko huko nje ju huko nje kuna violence kuna drugs zingine kwanza mbaya mbaya no i'm an addict of TikTok am i am i, am I crazy i'm not actually there it's a platform that is so genuine you you earning concerning of uh, it's it's giving you what you deserve if mimi nipige luku yangu hivi ndaeka wapi na youtube lazima ufikishe 500 subscribers but tiktok nipige luku hivi and the viral nimejulikana na nimeomoka so acheni hizo bana acheni hizo youth lazima tuomoke yes tiktok is a threat to mental health of the youth because mental health is negatively affected by various phenomena e.g. anxiety if a youth is excited and wants to watch a movie that is aggressive then his mental health will be affected he will go into anxiety depression if he is restrict, restricted to watch because his colleagues or his peers are watching and is restricted he will definitely have anger which are emotions and he may go into stress and then later on depression that is a negative part of mental health tiktok will train people to use to abuse substance to abuse um, uh, uh, alcohol that will affect their mental health it depends on uh, the person who is who is watching or the content uh, if somebody is sharing their experience of uh, having gone through uh, depression and come out of it on tiktok that is extremely helpful if somebody is using it to shame maybe a, pa a partner somebody they have been uh, intimate with and uh, recorded and uh, has thrown it on TikTok to shame him. That, of course, promotes uh, depression and, and mental health issues. We have seen uh, uh, people even being driven to suicide. Kila kiti kona positive na negative. The positives, when the positives supersede the negative, then you say that thing is, is, is positive. So it is promoting those mental challenges but on the other side, it is helping people relieve those mental challenges. So you can away. I don't feel like TikTok can be a space that's giving people a lot of peer pressure. And you might end up creating content for other people and not for yourself anymore. Another thing is the negative comments can actually really get into you and mess with your mental health. Especially when people are talking about how you look and body shaming you. I just feel like it would be a good idea to support good content and be good to people, which takes us to our next question. Do you think TikTok is addictive? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Yeah, it is addictive. Yeah, myself, Natumianga, it was addictive, but squeezing Sisana Vile. Yeah, I regulate myself. I don't think so, coming addictive, because 
okay, most of the people there want to entertain. Meaning, uh, they take most of their time huko ivo, juengine their source of income. So they take their time huko ivo. Yeah, I don't think it's addictive. No. But it, uh, it depends. Maybe to some users, they, they, since maybe they don't have anything to do, maybe they can be in TikTok all the day. While others, they can use it uh, maybe for job, maybe for, maybe for uh, creating awareness about their, what they are doing. So, according to me, it depends with the, with the user. Uh, TikTok can actually be very, very time-consuming and addictive. Um, I think that's what they create it for. The goal of whoever creates social media is for you to spend as much time on it as possible. So I do spend. Personally, sometimes I use it for good. I'm like, um, research and things like that because I kind of like work in social media, creating content. I have to be like on top of it, uh, uh, some trends, let me put it like that. Um, so sometimes I use it for good, like for research, um, just to know what's up, keep, keep, keep up with marketing and social media trends. Um, but sometimes I use it to escape my life. <laughs> Yeah, so I was scrolling on TikTok for ages, watch reels, memes, make myself happy and not think about whatever is going on in my life. So obviously I'll take a lot of time on that. Everything is medicine and everything is poison. So it depends with how you, uh, with how you're using it. So TikTok, just like PS, it might be addictive. At the moment you're a smart person and you know what you want to achieve from using the platform, then you'll know how to play with it. TikTok is addictive, yes. It is so addictive, too. Utapatanga tu, umejua squeezy, squeezy, tuko na smartphone, vitu zimekuja. So, unapatanga tu so long, we unapatanga tu, ukiwa, on, yani, siyata online, dati kwa ona moku bezi ya wifi. Izo, izo, izo notification venye zina ring, umejua zina kupatanga that adrenaline rush. Unasikianga tu, eti, eh, nafani ingia getu, sayi, ninini na hape, nigi, nafani ingia ndani nione. So, Hii kitu basically pia inatoa, ina, ina, ina ina let me say, inatoa human in us. Juu, utakuwa, unaspend a lot of your time in uh, e story ya TikTok. Utakuwa, unaspend a lot of time. Kushinda hata kitu yenye, let's say, you had something to do with the family, ama ulifa, u, ujoin watu wengine somewhere, ya mkuwe na, na ka, 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 ka kitu yenye, itawaleta pamoja, but unapata like, wewe, the only thing you think in your mind ni TikTok, Na fani jenge nini aje, na fani grow account yangu aje. So, yeah. Mi TikTok na natumianga tu kuzi keep busy, ni kia ni meboeka. Like, na thani TikTok kwanza hiko na vitu educative sometimes. Hiko na vitu, kwanza by the TikTok ina kuwa na movies. Eh, as in, ataka ni mapat part, lakini hiko tu saa for me. TikTok is that addictive. Sikuna YouTube. Kuna Facebook. There are people who consider using Facebook and to our generation, to our millennium. Sisi, to take Facebook, Facebook to me at wale akina babaze to. So you can't find me on Facebook at a browse like for 30 minutes, 5 minutes. Like in the PT too, most of my time it's a kwa youth, kwa YouTube, ma kwa TikTok, sana sana ma IG. Because TikTok is fun. At least it's a, it's a platform. Umechoka, umepiga hustle the whole day. Ukingi hapo TikTok, uwanza kuona akina ojo na uwanza kuona vipindi zingine ziku hapo short stories. Utabambika na utarilax. So I don't see, actually it's the opposite of stress. It's giving people uh, time to laugh. Maybe the whole day you haven't laughed. Ukienda pale uneka clip, kakucheka. Utacheka, utajipata tu unacheka. And personally I don't spend so much on social media unless... I'm earning from it. Maybe I'm doing a blog. Juu kuna wanyo wanaeka blog sizao pale, kuna wase wanaeka business pale for marketing, kuna wanyo wana market wase wengine. But some say, come me, I'm doing it for fun. Maybe nyo wanyo wana azia da mepiga ka dance, niende pale ni try. Niende viral, ni kipata like sata kaa ni kumi, so unasikia vizuri. At least there are people who are viewing you. So I think TikTok is a good thing, is a motivator actually. And it's an element of motivating us to do better. Leo ni pate five likes, na 200 views. Since I'm motivated to catch on if I need something better. So I don't think it's a stress reliever. TikTok is a stress reliever. Na ife kuondolewa at all. I've not subscribed to TikTok because 
it's so much infiltrated by young people and therefore I don't subscribe to it. But what I know is that TikTok has a bad influence to the community. That's why I have not subscribed to it. I agree because I have seen uh, uh, on social media uh, people expressing concern, uh, mothers expressing concern that their children are always on, on TikTok and, and even adults uh, are on TikTok. So uh, anything, a, any habit that is not checked becomes addictive. It is very addictive. It's about an individual to control yourself. Just like anything that you consume is addictive. Even talking is addictive. So you con you are it is your personal responsibility to control yourself or how you use it. TikTok is addictive. Like me, the most of the time, I have to use my phone. I have to use my TikTok. Yeah, addictive to most most people. Thank you for the roses. Thank you for the lion. This is what has been trending on my FYP for the past couple of months. If you ask me, TikTok is addictive because we have a lot of diverse content and even if you scroll day and night, you never get bored. So my advice would be create a schedule so you have time for TikTok and you get to be productive at other stuff. We have come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. I am your host, Eske Gitonga. Ciao.